my Ninians, this is Teacher Jason, and today we're going to discuss the topic Instrumental Music of Luzon, Brass Band. This video tutorial is based from your learning activity sheet in Music 7, Quarter 1, Week 3. So, bring out your learning activity sheet and turn your learner's module to pages 37 to 40. Our learning target for this session is identifies the musical instruments and other sound sources from the lowlands of the zone. Before the lesson, let's have a warm-up question, and I have a question for you to answer. Fact or Blah? A parading brass band is called a marching band. What do you think is the answer? Timer starts now. Nice! Fact! Let us talk about Brass Band. The Brass Band is an ensemble of woodwind, brass, and percussion instruments. In the Philippines, they are usually played in festas, religious celebrations, and civic celebrations. Its repertoire includes folk songs, popular music, and dance music, and among others. The growth of bands was so remarkable that every town used to have two or more bands. They sometimes participate and even compete in many town band competitions. During the summer, most fiestas are celebrated in various provinces of the Philippines to honor their patron saint. A town fiesta is made livelier by band music, and a parading brass band is called a marching band. At present, provinces like Rizal and Laguna and schools like the Philippine Military Academy or PMA are home to prominent brass bands in the Philippines. Let us now proceed to the different brass band instruments. Let us start with woodwinds. First, we have piccolo. Piccolo is shorter than the flute, and the sound it produces is thinner than the flute. Second, we have clarinet. It has a single reed mouthpiece and a straight cylindrical tube with cylindrical bore and a flared bell. In woodwinds, we also have alto saxophone. It is commonly used in classical music concert bands, chamber music, and solo repertoire, military bands, marching bands, and jazz bands. We also have tenor saxophone. It is a medium-sized member of saxophone family, most common type of saxophone along with alto and pitched in the key B flat and written as a transposing instrument in the treble clef. Tenor saxophone also uses a large mouthpiece, reed and ligature than the alto and soprano saxophones, and easily distinguished by the bend in its neck or its crew near the mouthpiece. Next, we have flute. It is an airphone or wind instrument that produces its sound from the flow of air across an opening, and the sound it produces is thin and timbre. For the brass winds, first we have trombone. Sound is produced when the player's vibrating lips or embouchure cause the air column inside the instrument to vibrate. The name means large trumpet, and pitch is produced by sliding the valve. Second, trumpet. It has the highest register in the brass family, played by blowing air through almost closed lips producing a buzzing sound that starts a stunning wave vibration in the air column inside the instrument. Next we have euphonium, a valve instrument. Current models are piston valve. It is a non-transposing instrument and known for its distinctive tone color, wide range, variety of character, and agility. Sousaphone. It is known as the bass. It's a type of tuba designed to be easier than the concert tuba to play while standing or marching, while employed in marching band and various other musical genres, and the bell is above the tubist's head and projecting forward. We also have French horn, commonly known as the horn, a brass instrument made of tubing wrapped into a coil with a flared bell, and quality of the sound may also be controlled through the adjustment of lip tension in the mouthpiece and the operation of valves by the left hand. Percussion instruments First, we have cymbals, consists of thin, normally round plates of various alloys used in many ensembles ranging from the orchestra, percussion ensembles, jazz bands, heavy metal bands, 
and marching bands. And in cymbals, remember that the heavier the cymbals, the louder the volume. And thin cymbals have a fuller sound, higher pitch, and faster response. A snare drum. Known as a side drum, it is an ever-present percussion instrument known for its cylindrical shape and powerful staccato sound, and often used in orchestras, concert bands, marching bands, parades, drum lines, and drum corps. The snare drums is also played with drumsticks or brush. And the last one, we have bass drum. Produces a note of low definite and indefinite pitch, and known as percussion instrument and vary in sizes. In the present time, music studies introduced the classification of musical instruments called the Hornbostel Zapp system. Eric Moritz von Hornbostel, Austrian music scholar, and Kurt Zapps, German organologist, devised a system for classifying musical instruments. Hornbostel Zapps classification of musical instruments. First, egyphones produce sound by the vibration of its body caused by the way they are played such as being strapped, scraped, rubbed, shaken, or blocked. Earphones produce sound primarily by causing a body of air to vibrate because of the air blown inside. Chordophones produce sound through its vibrating string or strings that is either plucked, strummed, or used with a bow. Membranophones Produce sound primarily by way of a vibrating stretched membrane tapped by hands or sticks. Electrophones produce sounds which are generated by electricity. And those are the Hornbostel Zach's classification of musical instruments. So now, let's have some recap. What is brass band? The brass band is an ensemble of woodwind, brass, and percussion instruments. What are the different brass band instruments? The brass band instruments are the following. In woodwind section, we have piccolo, clarinet, alto saxophone, tenor saxophone, and flute. While in brass wind section, we have trombone, trumpet, euphonium, sousaphone, and French horn. And lastly, in percussion section, we have cymbals, snare drum, and bass drum. The five horn bustle Zach's classification of musical instruments are idiophones, aerophones, chordophones, membranophones, and electrophones. At this point, turn your activity sheet to enrichment part. Reminder, do not write anything on this activity sheet. Write your answer on a separate long band paper. For the enrichment activity, you are going to classify the following instruments based on the horn bustle zap system. And for the wrap-up activity, just answer the following questions. I hope you learned something today. If you have questions or clarifications regarding the topic we discussed, Feel free to contact your subject teacher through text, call, or post your questions in your official Facebook group or page. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.